When I was asked to make my comment about uh, Fetura Golden, the first instance I said, what do I know about this man? What can I talk about him? My thought came, and I remember that I'm a, a Christian, and I've never seen a Jesus, but I can talk about him. So I took courage, and I accepted to talk about Golden. My name is Felix Kaiser. I'm trained in agriculture, journalism, and international relations. I've never been to Turkey, but I've had a very big interest in Turkey since my old school days. We had an association which we called Mesopotamia, and our interest was to go and look into what these people in Mesopotamia were doing in terms of medicine, music, the literature and so on. Gulen is a person whom I have never met, but I have read about him, and if anybody asks me to talk about him, I would straight rush to his mate. His mate, this is, some people call it a movement, some people call it, maybe take it for the foundation, there are some people who take it even for a, a political party or whatever. But, Golen is a person who is interested in the welfare of everybody without discrimination, without thinking of ethnicity, without thinking of faith, without thinking of color. So uh, here is a person who I think is a, a, a gift like Jesus, like the prophets, to the world. When I look at him, he always talks of uh, family. He's talking of relatives, their welfare. But he's a person who didn't even take interest in making a family. So everybody is a member of his family. To understand him, um, I had to read a lot about what uh, Said Nursi said in his books or discourses about uh, light. Now, here is somebody who would like to serve the, the people, but doesn't like to serve himself, and he doesn't even um, bring his relatives into the picture. Everybody is his relative. So this is why um, we find him um, establishing uh, dormitories, uh, uh, hospitals, and this he doesn't do himself. He uses other people, and people are the biggest asset anybody can have on him or on her in this world. So here is somebody who has been able to get out eh, from Turkey, from his village, from his province, from his country, go out into the world and meet uh, the people he finds out there and try and understand them and get to grips with their uh, difficulties and addresses them. Now, the thing is, the question of going out, eh, this is very basic. Eh? Jesus uh, sent his disciples out they were in the Bible, they were 72. He sent them out, go and they preach. Okay? And if you, if you come to the prophet, eh, the prophet eh, never stayed at home. He went out. Okay? And all his people went out. So the question of going out is, is very important. Otherwise, how do you share what you have with the others? In order to work for other people, you have to understand yourself. You have to know what you are. You have got to know your limitations. You have to know your weaknesses and address those before going out to save others. Short of that, you will save yourself. You will save your self-interest. And this is exactly what we see happening 
in Turkey today. Gulen, I think, understood himself. He understood the problems um, afflicting the, the Turkish people. And then he went ahead and acted on them. And I will quote here something about uh, him. This is uh, the moving into all parts of society for young pious Muslims who were at the same time equipped to engage with natural sciences with the social modernity. And in this, he was working on uh, Sidenosis um, three evils, which are ignorance, conflict, uh, and poverty. This is why I find him being committed to the development of educational institutions as a foundational and central point to the development of his met. Here, we can see the, the importance of dialogue. The question of dialogue in society is paramount. This is where, if you can meet other people of different beliefs, of different academic qualifications, of different um, color, eh, and talk about a, a, a problem afflicting your society, your community, and they come out with a solution, you would have done a very great thing. And this is what I think Gulen has managed to do and through his institutions. Most of the things we need is the basic ones uh, are virtually from nature, but others have to be made. For example, uh, the issue of education, that is ignorance, eh? uh, the issue of health, the issue of unity mm, in society. Eh? These cannot come uh, straight from heaven. We have to work for them. It is not enough to be just sympathetic to people. It is not enough mm, to send them condolences or what. Empathy is something which is very important. It is something which goes beyond uh, every sympathy or congratulations or whatever. Because if you have some empathy, uh, what you do with somebody in difficulty, you will not give him a piece of banana. You will give him uh, also a banana plant so that he can, he can plant and solve his problem later so that he doesn't have or she doesn't have to come back to you for a solution. That is the most, one of the biggest things that I learned uh, from Golan. That in order, if you want to help people, hmm, uh, you have to go beyond sympathy, you have to, go to, to be, uh, uh, to have some empathy about what is happening with them. And in, from, that, from that angle, work out a solution which will make them solve their problem once and for all.